Hey what's going on guys, welcome to another video, today I'm gonna show you a quick tutorial for you guys to learn, it's a simple tutorial that it's about uh, how to create uh, clouds in Blender, it's super easy, super fast uh, this way and uh, it's a really good tip for you guys, I, uh, probably you don't know how to create it or probably you, you have seen some guys uh, teaching you how to create with some nodes and that's it, but uh, today I'm gonna sh uh, show you how to create clouds in a fastest way and you don't need any nodes at all okay so that's it and let's go to blender all right guys we are here in blendy and ready to start our tutorial but first i'm gonna tell to the beginners that are seeing this tutorial that uh, how, how i created this cloud without using or without touching in the shading panel and without using any material okay guys i'm gonna he uh, go here in the shading panel and show you that I don't have any material in these clouds and uh, you'll see that uh, normally when you have uh, something like that you have a principal volume and you'll have uh, a lot of nodes basically you have uh, let me see in the fog tutorial that I have uh, done we use the principal volume, we use the noise texture and uh, a gradient texture and a lot of nodes but if you didn't saw that, go and see it. I will put here a card for you to click it to see it. And basically what happened here is that we'll have the principal volume node plugging in in the in our cloud but it's not as a material okay guys it's basically like a, a mesh okay a mesh that is a, a volume okay guys so basically what we will see when i create a uh, click in new you'll see that we not have uh, the principal bstf that normally we will have when you click new material but we have the principal volume that it's plugged in the material outputs the volume of the material output okay guys so Basically what's going on here is that we are using the cycles render engine because with the with DV will not work because I think that uh, with DV the principal volume can't work really well with DV so uh, I recommend you guys to use cycles okay guys so with this explain it I'm gonna go and recreate our tutorial or recreate our cloud okay guys so I'm gonna click here in file new file general don't save it I don't need it and now I'm gonna bring this default cube down and click X in here in this collection I'm gonna deactivate this collection and uh, I'm gonna add shift a add here uh, metaball if you don't have a metaball if you are a beginner and if you don't have uh, this metaball right here it this is basically a simple add-on right here in the preference you can go and reach it it's basically uh, you just need to add the extra objects okay so that's it and uh, when you activate it you we can start our tutorial okay so now we just need to click shift a and add here a metaball we're gonna use a ball for this tutorial okay guys so I'm gonna click one to go to our front view and start to uh, duplicate our ball a lot of times basically six times I think is cool so one two three four five and six and I'm gonna just uh, put this with different scales just to have uh, different uh, effects with this uh, let me see okay now we just need to, uh, to click A to select everything if you have done the same thing that I, I, I've done that it's basically separate our metaballs from our camera and lights uh, you just need to click a and you'll just select our uh, select the metaballs okay guys and uh, if you have the collection with the, the camera and the lights deactivated it's just going to work really well but if you have this uh, activated and if you click a you will see that we have uh, selected the camera and the light you can go here click uh, in one metaball click shift and uh, just select the other metaballs okay guys now you, we, you just need to click ctrl a we will apply a visual geometry to match basically transform this visual geometry to mesh basically like that okay and now we just need to click shift a and add basically our volume that i have talked about in the start of this tutorial i have talked about the volume that basically the volume nodes but 
uh, yeah, it's basically like a volume node, but with not, without using nodes. So I'm going to click in empty, okay, a volume empty. I'm going to click in this volume. I'm going to go over here and add a mesh to volume. Basically, what this modifier will going to do, it's basically transform our mesh that we already have in volume. And it's the volume that will going to transform our mesh in uh, smoke or in uh, uh, some sort of smoke uh, uh, effect basically like that okay guys so let me reach here our metaball okay and now you can see if i deactivated our metaball you have already uh, some sort of uh, uh, cloud already done but you have something really strange going on so what we need to do it's basically transform uh, or add a uh, disform uh, modifier that is basically the volume displace the volume displays it's where you're gonna use so click new to add a new texture okay guys and go over here and add here the type clouds okay and i'm gonna bring the size and here i'm gonna bring the voxel, voxel amount something right like that and now you can see that you have something like a cloud but what's going on is not uh, uh, looking really good or uh, is not looking uh, good in uh, the viewport or in our render option so what is going on basically you need to go over here and change these two cycles okay guys that's it's something that you, you probably forgotten but you just need to click there and you already have some clouds and you, what you can do right now is go over here in our world options go into color click in this bottom go over here in environment texture and click click open and go in and choose an hdr in what uh, the hdr i will gonna do it's basically add some uh, environments in our viewport and some lightning with in our uh, cloud basically like that you can go over here click in film and click in transparent to the hdr uh, be transparent but uh, with the lights uh, working on in our cloud basically like that and now you have the simple cloud that i have created and recreated basically like that it's super easy guys go and work and try new things and if you didn't saw the fog tutorial that uh, i've created go and see it it's really cool and you're gonna learn uh, something really good from it and if you are uh, new in this channel go and subscribe okay guys and give a like and if you are already subscribed go uh, and give a like okay guys and go and and uh, see the other videos that i've done you're gonna learn a lot from it guys okay so that's it i see you in the next time bye guys